Hey class, in my house, I've got a lot of lamps. I've got the IKEA lamp that you saw me put together. I've got this desk lamp that has a little bendy arm and also an outlet to plug in a cell phone charger. And I've got an old fashioned lava lamp. Ask your parents or grandparents about these. So I had the bright idea, why don't we work together to design a lamp for your room. So in this assignment, you're going to be working through the engineering design process, where you'll define the problem, brainstorm, research, develop solutions, develop a prototype using Tinkercad, and then communicate your results. I'm going to share with you a Google slide that you're going to be working through as you work to design your lamp project. In this activity, you're going to go through the steps, You'll brainstorm, do some research, make some sketches, and then develop a solution. Your goal is to use the engineering design process to design a lamp for your room that will be created in Tinkercad. It's a longer term project and should take you a few days to complete. And so if you have questions, make sure you reach out. One of the first things I want you to do is ask yourself some questions. What features would you want to have for your lamp? What are some criteria or requirements you want to have for your lamp? And what are some constraints or limits that you're going to have for your lamp? Because remember, you're designing a lamp for your room. I want you to look around your house, or maybe in your room. What are some lamps that you have? Take a picture, post it in the slide here, and then answer the questions. Go on to Target.com or some other websites and find some different lamp designs. Then I want you to brainstorm with some sketches. So get a piece of paper or some line paper or a napkin. Draw some sketches out. And then I want you to post some of those sketches onto your Google Slide. Ultimately, you're going to pick one of those sketches that best meets the requirements that you set out. And you're going to choose that design and you're going to tell me why. And that design will ultimately be designed in Tinkercad and you'll also be using that design and assess that design in a decision matrix worksheet, which we will talk about later. But for now, I want you to go ahead and work through the slides that are posted in a Google Classroom and reach out if you have any questions.